Yo, what's up, guys? So today we're finishing uh, season two of Stranger Things. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon, baby. Let's go. What's this episode called? The Gate. The Gate. The Gate. <laughs> <laughs> She's so, like, I was not picturing her like that. <laughs> right. I called you every night, every night for 353 days. Dang. I heard. Oh. Uh -huh. Why didn't you tell me you were there? That you were okay? Because I wouldn't let her. Pop the pop. What the hell is this? Where you been? Where have you been? You've been hiding her. You've been hiding her this whole time. Hey, hey. <laughs> let's talk alone. Oh. Um, yeah, calm down, Mike. Protecting her. Protecting listen, her? Listen to me. The more people know about her, the more danger she's in. And the more danger you and your family are in. Oh, what? So I should be thanking you I'm then? I'm not asking you to thank me. I'm asking you to try to understand. You're stupid, okay. disgusting, okay. lying, you right. piece of shit! Stop it. Liar. Stop it. Damn. Liar. Okay. Liar. Stop it. Stop Liar. it. Liar. Oh. He had a crazy response to that, huh? Sorry, Kim. <laughs> well, don't waste all your energy. I missed you, too. We talked about you pretty much every day. <laughs> teeth. What? You have teeth. Eleven? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard hey, so much about you. Um, I'm Max. I've heard a lot about you. Play nice. Come on, Eleven. Oh. Hey, hey sweetheart. <laughs> Poor Max. I feel bad for her. I'm gonna be your number one fan, Max. Let's go. Yeah, but Eleven's, you know, just being a little jelly. She has supernatural powers and she's still jealous, huh? There'll be girls later. Maybe. He's, he's not doing well. I know. I saw. What else did you see? You opened this gate before, right? Yes. Now you gotta close it. Do you think if, if we got you back there that, that you could close it? Potentially. I love her. They still ask so much of Elle. I mean, you got to ask him, obviously. This show, man. So we need to find a way to clear those things out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. See, Sean Astin. But how was he in it, you know? Man, yeah, because they didn't feel like editing that. They just, let, they, they just let it roll. They say, hey, one more episode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll make a little appearance in which is subconscious. Yeah, or like, something, or when he said, go away. Oh, it probably, like, it's okay, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, man. This is crazy. All right, guys, another season of Stranger Things. Let's go. Stick around for season three. It's coming soon. Is this Nancy's mom? It's got to be because she's reading like a, a romance novel. <laughs> because dad's the type to put grape and strawberry Ted, jelly on his biscuit. Can you please get that? Ted's literally sitting right <laughs> next to the... Ted's wearing a sweater. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I, uh, Does he sort of look like the guy on the front of that novel? Sister. With the long hair? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm Nancy's mother. No. Yes. Mrs. Wheeler. Mm. Billy. Billy Hargrove. I mean, you must be here for Nancy. No, actually, I am looking for my little sister, Max. What's his music? I know, that's what I'm wondering. Rocky, like, I know, that's what I was I was <laughs> like, what the heck? Why the is he like. Of night, so drive slowly. Always. And when you see Mike, tell him to come <laughs> Always. I don't realize her. You know that. <laughs> when his dad just abusing him <laughs> in the bedroom. Oh no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like, Billy's oh. moving up. He's too funny though, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. He is a unique Bro. personality. A that's for sure. And I mean, that's considering we can get in there. The place is crawling with those dogs. Demodogs. I'm sorry, what? I said, uh, demodogs. <laughs> like demogorgon and dogs. Like, you put them together, it sounds pretty badass. How is this important <laughs> right now? It's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can do it. You're not hearing me. 
I'm hearing you. I can do it. Even if I can, there's still another problem. If the brain dies, the body dies. I thought that was the whole point. It is, but if we're really right about this, I mean, if El closes the gate and kills the Mind Flayer's army. Will's a part of that army. Closing the gate will kill him. That's what I've been worried about the entire time. Mike, you might should have whispered that, not around Joyce. I know. <clears throat> you should have talked about that with Hopper first. Fix it cold. What? That's what Will kept saying to me. He likes it cold. We keep giving it what it wants. If this is a virus and Will's the host... He's got to sweat it out, baby. We need to make the host uninhabitable. Mm. So if he likes it cold, we need to burn it out of him. We have to do it somewhere he doesn't know this time. Yeah, somewhere far away. Put some Taylor Swift on. Yeah, the cabin? Huh? Large is it gonna be the cabin? You're gonna swing right. That road is gonna dead end. That's about a five minute walk from there. Then field, the oak tree. Swing a right. That's it. And it's channel 10, right? It's channel 10. Listen, you let me know when that thing is out of him. Damn right, Jonathan. We're gonna have to hire you to the force. <laughs> you should go with him. What? Jonathan. No, I'm not just gonna leave Mike. No, I was leaving anyone. I may be a pretty shitty boyfriend, but. Turns out I'm actually a pretty damn good babysitter. <laughs> Steve. It's okay, Nance. It's okay. Aww. He took the L. Just be careful, all right? I can't lose you again. You won't lose me. Do you promise? Promise. They didn't even get one day to just hang out. L. Well, let's go. It's time. Yeah, Hopper said none of that. Yeah, I ain't trying to see all that either. They gotta grow up a little bit. That was cool how that was just filmed. Right. There hasn't been a scene in the show that isn't cool how it's been filmed. Let's be real. I know, right? Even that. Look at that. Standing in a perfect four formation. Five. Mm. So what? We're just not gonna talk about it, huh? About what? You're oh, on rendezvous. I'm just curious, you know, why all of a sudden you look like some kind of MTV <laughs> punk. <laughs> He's such a dad, MTV punk. I'm not mad, kid. I just want to like know this. where you've been. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> to see Mama. Ooh. Yeah, we know. Okay. How'd you get there? A truck. A truck? A big truck. A big truck. Whose truck was it? A man's. A man's. A nice man. They're not all nice mans. Okay, so let me just get this straight in my head. So a nice man in a big truck, he drove you to your mama's, and then what, your your Aunt Becky gave you those clothes and that makeup? You wish. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have left. <clears throat> You'd be really mm -hmm. mad if he knew which one. Which one. No, I'm sitting on you, kid. I should have been there. I should never have lied to you about your mom or about when you could leave. A lot of things I shouldn't have done. Sometimes I feel like I'm, like I'm just some kind of black hole or something. Black hole? Yeah, it's a, you know, it's this thing in <laughs> outer space. It's like, it sucks everything towards it and destroys it. She's so probably like, what the hell? I know. She loved it. They're so Joel and Ellie. Sarah. Sarah's my girl. She's my little girl. Where is she? Well, it's kind of the thing, kid. She, uh, she left us. God. Yeah, the black hole. I got her. Yeah, that was a sad way to put it. Yeah. And somehow, I've just been scared, you know? I've just been scared that it would take you too. I think that's why I get so mad i'm so sorry for everything i could be so so stupid yeah <laughs> stupid just really stupid i need to expand her vocabulary for sure oh i've been stupid too i guess we broke a rule oh yeah i don't hate it by the way this whole <laughs> look until avril lavigne look you got it's going on cool. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, <laughs> no, ma'am. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <-a. laughs> Just car rides with Hopper. I know. That was so wholesome. That's her step hop. All right. It should fit now. Is this really necessary? Yes, it is. Okay, this is a groundbreaking scientific discovery. We can't just bury it like some common mammal, okay? It's not a dog. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> so you're explaining this to Mrs. Byers, all right. What if it jumps? Help me out. Mm. What am I supposed to do? The door, man. Get the door. Okay, all right. I'm right. having to throw that refrigerator away and burn it. Yeah. God, or Will can hang out on it when he needs to. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to Will. 
Well, I'm not. It's not will. It's the thing in there. You like it cold? Yeah. Mike, would you just stop already? You weren't in there, okay, Lucas? That lab is swarming with hundreds of those dogs. Damn dog! The chief will take care of her because she needs protection. Listen, dude, if a coach calls a play in a game, bottom line, you execute it, all right? Okay, first of all, this isn't some <laughs> stupid sports game. And second, we're not even in the game. We're on the bench. Right. So my point is... Right, yeah, we're on the bench, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not Guys, entirely true. Guys, just one of the most I mean, iconic moments ever to me is when Steve's like... She's like, well, here you're talking about your basketball <laughs> game, and then here you're talking about your granddad in the war. And, I, and he's like, yeah, they both won. <laughs> that had me dead. Yeah. That's my favorite Steve. Because he keeps walking up with these sports analogies, and everyone's like, come on, bro. But, like, really, he's getting ducked on in between the legs. <laughs> By Billy. Yeah. yeah. By yeah. Billy Suave or dog whatever dog he was to so that mom. When they ran away from the bus, they were called away. So if we get their attention, maybe we can draw them away from the lab and clear a path to the gate. Yeah, and then we all die. Well, that's one point of view. No, that's not a point of view, man. That's a fact. I got it. This is where the chief dug his hole. This is our way into the tunnels. Here, right here. This is like a hub. See what all the tunnels feed into here? Maybe if we set this on fire. Oh, yeah, that's a no. The mind flayer would call away his army. They'd all come to stop us. Hey. Then we circle back to the exit. Guys. By the time they realize we're gone, hell hey. would be at the gate. Hey, hey, hey! That's dangerous. It's not happening. But no, 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 no. No buts. <clears throat> I promise I keep your shithead safe, and that's exactly what I plan on doing. We're staying here on the bench, and we're waiting for the starting team to do their job. Does everybody <laughs> understand that? This isn't a stupid sports game. I said, does everybody understand that? I need a yes. Tell him, Coach Steve. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Steve's gonna have to fight him. Brother, Billy's gonna get involved. Oh my Plus. gosh. No, no, no. I was wondering when he was gonna tie in, because he's just, you know, he's, like, he's gotta be a senior, right? Steve's gonna have, <laughs> yeah. What if he's in 10th grade? <laughs> Am I dreaming or is that you, Harrington? Yeah, yeah me, Steve. What are you doing here, amigo? I see the same thing, amigo. Looking for my stepsister. Little birdie told me she was here. Huh, that's weird, I don't know. Small, redhead, bit of a bitch. Doesn't ring a bell, sorry, buddy. You know, I don't know, this, this whole situation, Harrington, I don't know. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, why is that? My 13-year-old sister goes missing all day, and then I find her with you in a stranger's house. Yeah, that is kind of sus, yeah. right? And you lie to me about it. At least break his camera. <laughs> <laughs> Will you drop too much as a child, or what? I don't oh, know no. what you don't understand about what I just said. She's not here. He's about to swing on you. You better be ready to hit him. And who is that? <gasps> Dang it! Oh, did he see us? Oh, shit. Let's <gasps> Come on, Steve. I told you to plant your feet. Oh, oh. oh Coach Miller. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Coach Miller. <laughs> I just hate Sinclair. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I told you to stay away from that, Max. Billy, go away. You disobeyed me. And you know what happens when you disobey me. Billy. I break things. No, 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 no. Lucas, not Lucas. I know. Why do you pick Lucas? Since Maxine won't listen to me, maybe you will. Yeah, other than the fact that he's the boyfriend. You stay yeah. away from her. Stay away from her. You hear me? I said get off my oh. ass. Let's go. You are so dead, Sinclair. You're dead. You are. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get out. I had an elbow him. Oh. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's swinging pretty wide there, brother. You hear Dustin? Oh! A plate? That's illegal? Uh-uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Someone's gotta stop this. Someone's gotta stop this. Uh-oh. Oh, put him out. I was about to say, Max with the battle axe, baby. No, Max with the syringe. So Steve's been beat up by everybody. Oh. He's like, I eat these for breakfast. Oh, what you do? He's like, I inject before every workout. Because <laughs> I'm in 10th grade. <laughs> Remember, he's in 10th grade. He's a sophomore. From here on out, you leave me and my friends alone. Do you understand? <gasps> Screw you. Oh. Say you understand. Say it. Say it. I understand. 
What? Oh. I don't understand. I feel like you can't just be sticking needles in people's necks, though. What if it touches the spine? And ain't that the same one that been up in Will's Let's get out of here. stuff he has going on? Well, they, they didn't have time to worry about all that. He should at least kill like, Steve. Burnt it. He I know. Steve Shout death. out to Max for that. Dang. I, I didn't even think about that. Steve needs to stop fighting. They'll never be able to be on the same basketball court again. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, usually after a fight, it helps. <laughs> Maybe they'll pass it to each other now. We'll do it here. Yeah, it's telepathically clean in there. So to be honest, they're basically about to do an exorcist. Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say, but I was about to call it an inconsorcist. In but <clears throat> do your own. Yeah, idea. that was the wrong word. Absolutely. This thing has had Will long enough. Let's kill the son of a bitch. I thought she just threw that on Will, and I was like, Nancy Wheeler. <laughs> hey, those were the best heaters, though. Back in the day, they don't make them like that no more. Yeah, you Too don't. Much of a fire you don't got to shave when those things are around. The insurance companies took them things off the market. <laughs> One day, Elle's gonna be so powerful, she's gonna collapse that building. You let me do the heavy lifting up front, all right? You save your strength till we're below. You okay? I hope y'all brought some waffles for the road. Yeah, she's a better psychic when her blood pressure's up. When there's a lot of high fructose corn syrup in her body. Nancy? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> no, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Hey, buddy. It's okay. You put up a good fight. Okay. You're going to keep straight for a half a mile. Then. Well, Steve only really lost because he was fighting dirtier outside. than he was. Steve should have hit him with the elbow. On. Right. That man had a plate. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, he's just sitting there. He had a park park and Max was oh driving. We're going to leave you behind. No. But I promised that you'd be cool, okay? What's going on? Oh, my God. This Poor Will, man. They've been torturing him against his will. Will's will. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! This is for Will! I mean, at this point, you have to fight it. It's basically already killing your son. Right. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, incredible. I told you. Zoomer. <laughs> Are those mushrooms on the ground? I thought they were the pumpkins because they're at the farm. Oh. Man, you're so much smarter than me. It's pretty. No, I just saw the oh, pumpkin sign. Guys. You're upset. I get it. The bottom line is a party member requires assistance, and it is our duty to provide that assistance. <laughs> now, I know you promised Nance that you would keep us safe. So keep us safe. <laughs> he just got whooped, y'all. You think he's going to beat up a Demigorgon? So C's best friends are basically about to be like a bunch of little kids. Because mm -hmm. after this, those are your homies, right? Yeah. We might yeah, see him playing some D&D. Those kids are brave, boy. I'm telling y'all. Stay here. Oh, not the bloody stairwell. The good doctor, man. Oh, I'm sorry, bitch. Pretty good. It's okay. Don't talk. I got you. I got you. I got you. Nice. This is 11. 11. Doc Owens. Doc Owens. 11. She's been staying with me for about a year, and she's about to save our asses. Yes. Maybe when this is all said and done, maybe you could help her out too, you know? Maybe you could help her lead like a normal life. One where she's not poked and prodded and treated like some kind of lab rat, you know? Or a spy. I don't know. It's just a thought. I don't think that's ever yeah. going to happen, man. They're always going to be after her. Think She's too valuable. It. It's a lot bigger than just him. She's like a weapon to them, essentially. Don't go anywhere. 
<laughs> God, what is this place? Let's come on. Let's keep moving. What are you doing, dude? Go. That's the thing that got Hopper. Help! 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 What happened? You hear him squeaking? I was trying to laugh at him. But. <laughs> I'm okay. Are you serious? Very funny, man. No, he wasn't kidding. Me. Wait, I'd acted the wait, same way. Yeah. He just got some upside down booty juice in his mouth. I know. It was like it was like. It pulsated before it busted. I think we found your hub. Oh shoot! These what this is about to look like. Let's trench it. Hey. It's you need a kid at a sore throat. Mom, to me. After these scenes, how much longer? Yeah. Mom, look at him. Jonathan, no, no, leave it. Mom, you're killing him. Jonathan, Jonathan, snap, snap. Man, she hopped on top. Oh, he's choking her. I'm stressed. That radar system looks so cool in the upside down. Whatever the heck it is. Oh. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, ready, ready. Light her up. Oh my gosh. Cosmos and universe. Will, Will, please. I'm gonna get a power aid. Please, come on. Can you hear me? Come on, come on Will. Please. Will. Oh. Will the oh, wise baby, let's go. I'm really hoping next season they just leave him alone. Yeah, give him a break. Give him a season off. Let it be Jonathan who gets caught this time. No, Kid. Jonathan's been in and out of jail, labs. Leave him alone. Yeah, that's true. He's been through it. But Will needs a break. He needs to just develop a little bit as a human. <laughs> His developmental years are being destroyed. Chief, do you copy? Yeah, I copy. Close it. Hey. Man, that's a lot more than a bus, I think. Right. This is why she looks like this, because she's going to the underworld, baby. Right, she does have like an upside down L vibe. That's what right. she looks like to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you're onto something. That's the idea. Is that Mike? Yeah, Mike. Oh, heck no. Oh, man. The hand goes up. This is for real. You might need to help her. Which hand does she use? The right. Well, what if I feel more comfortable with the left? Maybe you put your hand. 
Have we seen that? That was like new. Oh yeah, that's that monster. Help! Help! That's the one in the clouds ahead of it, right? We gotta go. Time to see. It's dark. It's dark. Dark. <laughs> Sit. How did you know? Because it said dark rolling. Oh, okay. Trust me. Please. Don't be Mrs. October. Hey. Things gonna eat your okay. head. Sit, it's dark. Me. It's, it's your friend. It's dust. You remember me? Oh, dark. Let us pass. Sorry about the storm cellar. You know, it's a pretty douchey thing to do. Mm. You hungry? You got some chocolate? Yeah. Some nerds. Shut up. I've got our favorite. Okay. Nougat. You got hair in here. Oh. Okay. Okay. He's okay. He's like, oh, I'm going. Oh, Buddy, oh. I've, got, I've got more. How come when it eats humans, it's a ferocious animal, but when it, when it eats chocolate, it has such manners? I don't know. What you talking about? This is so cute. Oh my lord. Goodbye, buddy. Yeah, they'll never see each other again, probably. I knew that camaraderie would pay off. See? You would have never. You're right. I would have never ran in the dark because I'd have chunked his ass in the toilet. Right, and you know what else? I want you to find never from trusted Smeagol. Something that angers you. Now channel it. I know. So you're gonna die by the spider, sorry. Oh, let's go, let's go! What was that? They're coming. Run! Run! There! There! Let's go! Let's go! Go, 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 go! Y'all better have some strength to climb up. Alright. You don't think Steve can die, do you? No. Not this. No, no way. Not this soon. Right? No. No, no, no. Dustin! Come on! What in the. Oh, all hands on deck. All hands on deck because L's closing it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. So well, they have like priority wow. tasks. Brother, brother. They're just being told what to do. They're not all bad. Bro, obviously we're putting her on the thumbnail right there, right? Got to. And if we don't, so sorry. <laughs> this is another picture of the No scoping. Yeah. You have a wound, Eleven. A terrible wound. The gate. I opened it. And it's festering. And it will grow. Spread. And eventually, it will kill you. She just had to get angry. Whoa. So she did take what she needed from her. Oh, wow. That's Mike's girlfriend, Loki. That's crazy. <laughs> Mike has no idea. Let's go. Please don't disappear. It's like killing the Night King. Mm -hmm. Max is like, they did not exaggerate. <laughs> they were telling the truth. This crazy. I thought California was crazy. This crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're right. Dark's gone. You did good, kid. He's a good dark. You did so good.
Mm. Okay, now fill this place up with concrete, seal it off, and be done with it. But not. Okay. Heck yeah. Close that thing up. Mm -hmm. Since the release of the incendiary tape, the once quiet town of Hawkins, Indiana, has spent time in a place it never expected the national spotlight. Whoa. Under mounting pressure, several high-ranking members from the U.S. <laughs> Department of Energy have admitted involvement in the death and cover-up. There's Barb. no way. <laughs> Chiefo. The doctor. So my football career is over. Hey, you want some of this? There's no way I'm going to finish it. I'm going to diet. Well, you're a better man than me. Got a little something <clears throat> for you. They were there. They met there before. Remember, at the beginning. Congratulations, pops. <gasps> he adopted. Um. I thought. Sometimes I impress even myself. Still, I'd let things cool off for a while if I were you. As long as a while. Want to be safe? I give it a year. A year? <laughs> you thought that sandwich. I'm not on a diet anymore. <laughs> you stressed. How about one night out? One night? Yeah. How risky would that be? What's so important about one night? Christmas. Oh, this snowball. <gasps> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Sorry, I get lit the Christmas songs. I'm gonna try. Jingle bell chime and jingle bell time. Bomb. Oh. Super bomb. Please don't have another crazy episode. I always tell me. Oh, wait. All right, that's enough. Hey. <laughs> Wanna dance? <laughs> We should, uh, you know, get out there. His shirt's like, cool. I like it. Do our thing. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but not as much as I love you, Luke. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> ow, ow, that hurts. It's Aww. gonna be worth it. Promise. He didn't say See? anything. Pretty. That's an improvement. You look fabulous, baby. Got it. Stop cussing for your mama, little boy. I know. You're right, Dusty. You're not going to the snowball. How about that? Oh, from Steve. <laughs> I love it, man. It's so. Let's go. What's he about to look like, though? <laughs> <laughs> they got different hairstyles. I love that. That's so cool. Steve Harrington. That's gonna be his hero. Yeah. Stop. So, oh my remember, God. <laughs> <laughs> like okay. I want to cry. Okay? I don't, come on. Well, you look great, okay? You look Aww. great. <laughs> Good luck. How cool is that, Steve? I love that. I love that. Steve always has the best finale episode. He always does something really sweet, like give Jonathan a camera. Oh, poor buddy. He said, I sure do. Nancy, Nancy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they're just happy being chaperones. Holy shit, what happened to you? <laughs> what do you mean what happened? What? Dude, your hair. Is there a bird nesting in this? Oh, what, what do you mean wrong with my hair? There's I no like bird it. nesting in here, asshole. Okay, <laughs> I worked hard. Yes. Max. <laughs> Let's go. Um, it's nice, right? Wanna, um... <laughs> Are you trying to ask me to dance, stalker? No. Of course not. <laughs> you want to? So smooth. Come on. Um, she helped him out. I love that. Poor Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, zombie boy. Do you want to dance? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this. <laughs> Dustin, go ask somebody. Wish me luck, Mike. I'm going in. <laughs> Stacy? Stacy. Not Mike. <clears throat> Stacy. Yeah? <clears throat> Shall we? Um, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he was so smooth. I'm I thought you said so yeah. mad. <laughs> you don't need her, Dustin. Go ask the one that cried at Will's funeral. She might say, yeah. I hate that because if if that if that happens to Nolan, I'm gonna be so mad at everybody. Right. 
No, nah, he's too funny and handsome. Yeah. He's got like five girlfriends. <laughs> oh, please, Nancy. That still sucks, though, because that's like a sympathy dance. But it's still sweet. Hey. Oh. Want to dance? What? Come on. <laughs> Here. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that like one of the first interactions close. was him getting denied by her? Yeah, but he was saying how cool now, she was. Yeah. No. Out of all my brother's friends, you're my favorite. Oh. <laughs> That was the cutest, right? Good job, Nancy. So sweet, baby. Mm. Hey. You need my sleeve? Hey. You good? Thought I might find <laughs> you. Hey, where's the Kleenexes? Will wanted me to give him some space. So I'm giving him a few feet. What do you say? Oh, y'all's friend and camel. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that Mr. Cooper retired in the 70s, so I might be okay. He's looking around. <laughs> <laughs> How you holding up? No. Yeah. That feeling never goes away. It is true what they say, you know. Every day it does get a little easier. Wait, he's there. Does that mean Eleven just walked in? Maybe so. Let me die real quick in a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Not yet. And some police. Stop it. That's an improvement though, isn't it? From the little emo look. <laughs> this show makes me ugly cry. You're beautiful. <laughs> Do you want to dance? I don't know how. I hug you. I don't either. Do you want to figure it out? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I can't watch another episode without tissues like. <laughs> yeah, we got to go to the Dollar General. <laughs> I'm like, don't use tap. You don't mess up my register. <laughs> oh, he did not prepare for that. <laughs> don't never forget about this snowball. The snowball of 84 it was. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Wheeler, she helped me out. It was embarrassing. What a perfect way. Are Don't we you hate it? how it's going upside down <laughs> to irritate me? The upside down snowball. So that answers my question, man. That is not a place stuck in a singular point in time. That is a live active dimension that is constantly changing. Oh, man. Over there. All we need is Eleven and Will to get in, I mean, and Mike to get in a fight and he's back. Welcome back to the Freaky Dicky. Oh my gosh. How about that? How about it? Is there an end screen? No. no just... All right, guys, so that was the season finale of Stranger Things, what a way to end it. Mrs. October needs a bottle of water because I'm pretty sure that you lost at least at least a bottle right on your face. You're, yeah, you're dripping my hands wet. Anyways, <laughs> uh, that was an incredible episode, man. Oh my I, gosh. I really think the coolest part to me was the fact that Hopper had to pull out the adoption papers. Yeah. So um, that part's really cool, man. I love to see that progressing. I love the fact that Lucas is happy, man. I love the fact that oh Max gosh. is happy. I love the fact that. What's his name? Dude, why am I forgetting his name? The crazy guy? The one who's all like... Billy. Billy. Billy walked by Max and just didn't say anything. So I guess that's a like, character development, right? That's like she put him in his place. <laughs> and Elle so obviously we'll leveled up with her abilities because she was able to close this... Whatever it is, man. This gate. And... She found out she gains power by anger. Right. And hopefully, you know, the whole thing is like a lot of people gain power through anger. But just like in like the Marvel series, not to try to bring it up, but... A lot of people, like the Hulk, for example, he used anger, but then eventually you learn to control it, you know? Mm -hmm. So hopefully she'll do that because I don't want to have to see her become dark and angry at the expense right. of using her powers. Or she, you know, if she tries to, you know, in these next couple seasons, tries to live life seemingly as a teen, 
teens get angry. So I could see like her just being a teenager trigger some telepathic. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, yeah, maybe she'll have It was like pains. Cyclops. Remember, he was just a teenager, so they had to keep... In school. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. But yeah, you're right about that. I mean, we'll just have to see. So there was a lot of growth between the characters between season one and season two. Mm. So I'm really excited to see how old they look going into season three, for sure. Yeah. So, so I don't know how they're going to portray that, man. Is she going to be someone who continues to have, like, adolescent growing pains where she's trying to, like, understand her powers? Or is she going to be someone who you know, kind of understands what she's capable of at this point, And she's kind of beyond her years. So I think the reason Hopper adopted her was so she, cause remember he, he was trying to be friends with Dr. Owens to have like more of like, so Elle can have a regular life. So I feel like she's going to get to go to school and stuff, which is going to be like amazing. Oh, that'd be like, cool. Yeah. I feel like that's well, the what grade reasoning. is she going to like fifth grade. Cause she's got a lot of, <laughs> she, she's going to have to take at least, a lower level language arts class than the other ones. Yeah. I mean, not to any fault of her own, man. She, she just, just doesn't know. Yeah, she, know? Just did, she just doesn't know. She's still learning. She learns a new word every day. But she's smart and she's learning really fast. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, awesome episode, man. It was such a good performance by so many actors in this. I think Joyce is just a standout. No, I think they're Hopper's just all amazing. I think all of them in their own are so. The, j even like the way the kids like are together, like just the way they interact is so amazing everyone's just so brilliant i think in certain episodes some characters shine more than the others right you know but and joyce is yes a i feel like i feel like she stood out in this episode to me but just a really good episode man uh i don't really know where we go from here i mean you're right i mean we got the simple theories of maybe Elle can go to school she'll get adopted obviously we're not done with the upside down i mean we closed it right but obviously we closed it but that still leaves that's just one of the problems solved i mean that leaves the whole equation of what is on the other side i mean he was what still cooking mean? you seen him the big old thing in the sky and it's interesting because he doesn't seem to be interested in anything other than hanging out wherever will's at mm -hmm. like he was looking at the gym right then he could have been mm -hmm. anywhere right or maybe he's just so big that from that angle he's, right right he's all right encompassing. i mean it that's been the vibe whole, I, get. Right. I think he's stalking will i think he's right. just like the perfect candidate or something maybe there's something going on with Will's brain that just allows him. I don't know, but you, you guys get what I'm trying to say. I mean, we'll have to Maybe see they're they're more on that on later, level. you know, for sure. But I, I still don't really know what the upside down is, to be honest. I mean, I understand that like that tunnel was a living organism and, you know, that's the. That was like the monster. I understand it had a name and stuff. I just forgot the name of the, you know, the brain or whatever. But I still don't understand what exactly the upside down is. Was it created? Is it? Right, right, right. Natural phenomenon? Is it like a base reality? We don't really know. So there's gonna have to be some character that steps in that's like big brain and he knows all of this junk. I just had this little epiphany about how I want all these questions answered, but then I got to thinking like one of the things I really, really like about the show, and guys, I really like the show, but we don't get all those answers right away. It's more of like a slow build, so it really focuses on like relationships and characters. Because we find just... out as much as they do when they do, when they know. One of our favorite moments from this series was when Lucas was jumping through the door at <laughs> what was it, the last episode, and he was going through the door when they were in the school when everything was going down, and he's on the walkie-talkie. But instead of just walking the door, he like drop kicks the door. I know, and she's like, "Mr. Sinclair." That's hilarious because that's something that I would have done. So it's the little touches like that that I think make the show gold. And I, man, to be honest, I just have so much fun watching. Right. It. And their imaginations, these kids are so, it's so good. And like having Steve and Steve step in as like a chaperone type, yeah. Nancy and Jonathan, you know, Jonathan already is because he's a good brother. Yeah. Nancy's becoming a good sister. Just I'm liking, by not to interrupt you, sweetie. No. I'm no. loving the fact that all the adults are sort of recognizing that like ever since Will was lost and they really had to watch all these adults step up and they saw how stressful it was on them the young teenagers are doing a good job stepping up yeah. and being like just decent people. They're like, protective. Like, well, they're being present. Like yeah. they're actually there. They're present on what's going on before they were completely. Yeah. Like Nancy was oblivious. Nancy didn't give a crap what Mike was doing. She was too worried about like sneaking off with and Steve. Steve. All Steve wanted to do was not get snarked at by the girl popping the gum. You know, right. Know. So yeah, and now definitely. he's now he like took it upon himself to just be like a father figure for Dustin because obviously Dustin can manipulate his mom just by giggling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yes. yeah, she just like he could she could be like Dustin, what are you going to do? Drugs? <laughs> and then she Dustin, was like, "You're so funny, you're so you silly." <laughs> yeah. When you get back from the library, <laughs> I'll have some biscuits. Um, yeah, yeah, your boy, your boy Billy, he got uh, 
he got needled in his neck. So Billy you know, is Billy is a complex dang character. To, that's character opinion. development, in my opinion, because yeah. if Max is gonna put a needle in his, you know, in his neck, then I guess on some level it shows a strong, up. strong hate for him, though. Well, it just showed that eventually she's taking autonomy for herself. She's not gonna be bullied by him anymore, which I think is great. Right, because she can't keep hiding out, like hanging out with these kids and being on hideout the whole time. Right, like I have to hide shows. from my big bro. Like, what the heck kind of crap is that? And he, right. he's not doing it at a place of love. He's doing it out of anger. So, or something. I don't. Because if it was, out oh, he's of doing love, it because he hates the mom, right? So he's just torturing yeah. the daughter. So if it was out of love, that's like a whole, you know. You know, you're being protective because you love your sister, but you're not doing that because you love your sister. You're doing it for control. Well, if you love your sister, you don't drive that fast with her in the car acting right. stupid. I mean, I wouldn't do that. That's just me. Right. And but, you don't call her a little S at every chance you can get. You get. A little S. A little sailor. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, a little Zuma. I mean, the show runs deep, obviously, but did we miss any really important themes? I mean, I just had a good time watching it, you know. Like it's not it's not rocket science at the end of the day, you know. It's just there's an upside down, there's some crazy stuff going on, and we need to figure out more. I mean, but. the most important theme this season I found out is they're still on the hunt for them. Like the big, big people are still screening their calls. Oh, the people in the shadows? Yeah. Yeah. They're doing that, but then also I've learned that they have to be really tight knit and they can't let a lot of people in because when they do let someone in, aka Bob, they go. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, Bob was such an asset that they needed him in a way. Mm -hmm. They probably wouldn't have made it that far without him, but it kind of sucks. So in that sense, I do feel like they sort of used Bob. I mean, in hindsight, they used him. I don't think in real time they were thinking of, you know, of it that way. But after the deed was done, the narrative could be painted in that light. Right. I think know. it was Joyce's way. Joyce had Bob as her way of moving on from the situation. Like, you know, she could have probably went in with Hopper, but Hopper was busy hiding 11. So he wasn't very present with that. And... You know, things happen. Joyce goes with Bob and Bob ends up. <laughs> poor Bob. Yeah. Bob ends up some cat food. Yeah. That yeah. that genuinely was a good season. I really, I really appreciate it. But there's so many questions. You know, I'm sitting there thinking halfway through the show. We're at season two. And I guess I'm not really. I don't really know how I feel about the show and prepared like compared to my expectations of the show. It's not really what I pictured it would be. Yeah, but it's either. better. It, it's yeah. a lot better, but it's a lot simpler than I mm -hmm. thought the show would be. In my mind, I thought the show was going to be, you know, some shows, man, they really just like, you know what I'm saying, man. They like, they, they self flagellate too much. Like they just get way too deep and they're just way too complex. And I, I think this one is just such a confident show that it doesn't try to trick you at all these fake questions and smoke and mirrors. And it just really keeps it about the dialogue and about the chemistry and the actors. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, the show just does a really good job in that way. And I, I didn't really picture the show being such a drama in that yeah. sense. When I say the word drama, man, I just mean like the acting on the screen is just top tier. It's more about like the interactions opposed to like the overall plot, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like when you watch a Tarantino movie, you know, we were talking about how they'll take something small like the aftermath of Robin to make and make a movie about it opposed to having like 20 different events in a movie. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Stranger Things is perfect in that way. I really do think so. And yes. I'm and I, I'm really loving in Stranger Things. The there's been a bunch of full circle moments and a bunch of like payoff moments. So I've, that's what I really appreciate about the show is like that's I think that's what makes me so emotional about the show is like ev when you want something to happen, it does, but it, it exceeds your expectation. Right, because it comes, it's like the build up to yeah. it. Yeah. So I think I lost my train of thought, but I was trying to say is I was trying to picture what the show's going to look like in a season or two or in three seasons, you know? Because like I was saying, I, I wasn't sure what the show would be, but the show sort of makes sense. There's Hawkins and it all sort of goes down at Hawkins and now it's in the national spotlight. But now I'm wondering, is the show going to like really change and evolve? Because we moved from a local level to now we're more of like on a federal level. Right. So I'm really excited to see how the show evolves in that way, if, if that makes sense. Yeah. I just like talk my ass around I, the circle. I'm so I would just like wonder what little ticks going to happen for the upside down to rupture again. Right. There's like, going to be gonna a be, little something yeah. that happens. It's going to be like she closed all of it except one little sliver. And then I, over time I genuinely, it, this is my prediction that her and Mike are going to. Something's gonna happen between her and Mike, and you know she's not able to control it yet. And maybe oh, she, she's gonna get emotional and reopen maybe, it. Maybe, or maybe I don't want it to be Elle's fault that it reopens, though. Or maybe it could be her mom's fault 
or something. Oh, because maybe she's like losing her mind. Even right. More because, you know, she was stuck in that loop. Kind of like Charles Xavier and yeah. the Logan movie, how he like wasn't able to control his right. his mind in the end and he was hurting people. Absolutely. Because man. she was still open. Or this might be silly, but it could like I feel like the Billy character, something bad with him is coming because he's just was like he was just like bad energy right i don't know i feel like he's a bad person i mean like if i'm like you know what i'm saying if i'm a dark spirit looking for someone to haunt aka or possess i mean i might see billy and think hey like it I don't, i'm not saying it could be him but i'm saying he's just like he's just bad he has a dark spirit about him he's angry right he's mad angry and i i'm just saying maybe like when he woke up from that thing like something i don't know I mean, yeah, like his, that same that same needle though. It was the same needle that was in Will. You're really caught up on that. Yeah, I know. That's kind of gross, right? Are you concerned someone's gonna catch a hepatitis C case or something? I, you know, I just feel like you have to burn that or something. You just don't want to use someone's needle. No. So all the upside down in this in the stomachs and all all that's cool, but it's the needle. No, none of that's cool, but neither is the needle. Mm -hmm. Uh, man, justice for Barb. Let me get it in the comment section. It's glad. I'm just glad to see that, you know, hopefully her story will be told, you know, because her parents deserve to know the truth at the end of the day. Uh, I think that's what that was. Yeah. Yeah. Was exactly, that. Yeah. That's why I said a full. The full yeah. But the thing moment. is, man, you can always have justice for Barb and all that and tell her story, but that don't mean they're going to spin it. And I'm saying tell the truth. But the show's not over. So right. obviously the truth is a national story. And in my, like in my mind, the next season is going to be, Oh, they told the truth, but they didn't really tell the truth. They told their version of the truth, which right. was just, you know, image control and all that. So, uh, we'll see, man. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Uh, come hit us up in season three. I'm sure it's going to be just as explosive as season two. I'm excited to watch it. Sorry if we joke too much, but to be honest, when I'm watching the show, it's just a hundred percent good vibes. It's and I so really good. can't help but to just laugh and, Cry time, your so. eyes out if you have to. Absolutely. If you guys are having fun with this, man, just like, comment, subscribe, like I said, and just turn on the notifications. That really helps a small little channel like us for sure. Hit us up on Patreon. Did I already say that? Yeah. I say it so many times, guys. I don't even remember. You're in a so. loop. Rainbow. Three well, to the left, three to the right. Well, I've said hit us up on Patreon, I think, in like a hundred and something videos at this point. So, but if I don't say it, guess what? People don't hit us up on Patreon. And guess what? So. I'll forget. So, yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, man. For real. We'll see you on the next one.